So guys, we are still celebrating Luna Fay here, and now we are on the West Bank. So before we were in the city of New Orleans, now we're in the city of Gretna at City Hall. They're about to have a beautiful projection light show here tonight on the West Bank. So what's amazing about Luna Fay is this year, they're not just celebrating the city, they're celebrating the West Bank too. So it's gonna be magical, and we're so excited that we got to bring you both locations. Also, we wanted to mention, for the festival only, the ferry line's on Canal Street, and you're able to take the ferry and come to the West Bank to enjoy this part of Luna Fay as well. So that's amazing. We're gonna link all the information below, because if you come this weekend or you come back next year, they only run at certain times, so you gotta be careful. You don't wanna miss that ferry. And this is gonna be a great show. Also, they got some vendors here as well. Luna Fay is also doing some free light wands for the kids, for the families, so you can make sure you wave your lights around and around and around and just have a great time. So or whatever you want to do with your lights, so let's go watch. They're about to start. Also, we wanted to mention City of Gretna is decorated from head to toe for the holidays. They have absolutely breathtaking lights all throughout the city, so check out Gretna, and I promise you, you will love it. Feeling great here in Gretna, baby. One, two, three, four. Do you know what it means to miss Gretna? Where the big easy means take it easy. The sugar, the spice, everything.
along with the projection mapping on City Hall, they have a make a light wand over there, and this is completely free. Um, so you can come over here and make a light wand. Shout out to Luna Fay. Shout out to City of Gretna for putting this on. You guys did an awesome collaboration. Amazing. Keep it up. We can't wait to see this again next year because this was absolutely magical to see in City of Gretna. And throughout the weekend, they don't have it right now, but they're going to be selling like nuts and hot chocolate. We got it. By the way, look at these lights. Gretna has gone all out. We have a video coming up with Gretna's lights. Stay tuned for that. But right now, we're going to show you a little bit from here as well. Let me get you this way. We got Melvin here, and Melvin's actually doing the interactive art on the Thomas Jefferson Memorial here. And actually, he's using his hands to create the art. It is a masterpiece, a one-of-a-kind, a unique piece of art by Mr. Melvin himself here in Gretna, Louisiana. And it's gorgeous. And with the... Um, and it's also, it's tracking his hand, but it's also seemed to be tracking. It's picking the wand up. It's picking the wand up a little bit too. So, hey, it's all working out for Mr. Melvin. He's creating a masterpiece. He's going to be the next big New Orleans art star. So we wanted to give a big shout out to David, the artist who created this artwork over here. Also, David created the second scene on Gretna City Hall. So shout out to David for his beautiful artwork. You're amazing. Also, he helped you. A lot of the projections around Luna Fay. No, 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 he did. He did. The, also, he helped out with more projections on the convention center in New Orleans. You are amazing. Keep up the great work. An honor to meet you. So glad that we get to see your artwork here. Also, we wanted to mention this is the first year that Luna Fay is having it on the West Bank, and we're celebrating 10 years of this festival of Luna Fay here in New Orleans. So happy 10-year anniversary, guys. We're excited. Another 10 more, another 50 more, another 100 more. Keep it going. We love this festival. was saying earlier we're right next to the Gretna Ferry and this is sign telling you what's going on here um so we're at like she said we're at the West Bank and this is Gretna and you can actually take the ferry from you can take the ferry from Canal Street on the hour from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. the ferry runs to Gretna runs to Gretna on the half hour 5 30 to 9 30 and they have a nightly schedule of water projections at the Gretna Amphitheater they have to get there too the puppet parade, and you can make a light wand along with the city hall projections, which we're showing you here today. Plus, there's a um, patron reception at the ferry house. There's performances tonight, and and on Saturday at the Christmas, there's a Christmas market, and the young audience choirs play. I mean, the young audience's choirs sing on Sunday. So, come to Luna Fay on the West Bank. Come on the East Bank. Do it all because, quite frankly, this is one of the most amazing festivals in the city all year long. This is just from somebody who goes to all the festivals around this city. This is amazing. Jen went to the car, and I just happened to run into or walk up to a very important person. I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hello, I'm Amanda Winstead. I am proud to be the chair of LunaFed. I am on the board of the... Uh, Arts New Orleans. I've been on the board for over a decade. I am the chair of Luna Pet for this year, but I've been involved with the festival since its inception. And we're proud to be in our 10th year. 10 years. And their first year on the West Bank here. Yes, oh. our first year on the West Bank. <laughs> so, so I have, so the question I have is this, and I think people who live here who don't know about this need to hear this. Why is this festival so important to the community here of New Orleans and the metro area? Uh, the festival is important because we bring local artists training to New Orleans. Uh, and we've done that since the beginning and the inception of our festival. And we bring very unique artist training to our community, which is this video mapping and uh, video based artist training, which did not really exist uh, in our community until we brought it here this light-based digital art and technology training, and we're very passionate about it. And the reason I'm so happy about it, honestly, I've learned editing by myself. Nobody taught me 
And I'm so happy, especially young people, could actually have people who can teach them, not stuff that I have to learn on my own that can actually teach them, and teach them the right ways and learn the te- and learn the proper techniques what I have, without having to fail and then pick it up later. So thank you guys for everything that you do. I do appreciate it from a personal level. On top of all that, I, the only question I have to ask you is this. How important is it? I mentioned the metro area, but we're in Gretna. Yes. And my wife and I are Gretna residents. Yes. How important this is, how important is this that we are able to bring the festival to both sides of the river now, not just one side? We were so excited about, we call it East meets West. Um, Gretna got a very uh, large grant from the NEA, the National Endowment for the Arts. And we were very excited to work with Gretna to bring Lunafet to this side of the river. And we're always looking to grow Lunafet and grow the festival. And we could do that and bring Lunafet to this side of the river. We were so excited about that. Grow the festival, bring art to this side of the river. We know people don't always want to go to the other side of the river. People don't always want to go downtown. Grow the festival, spread spread the word about Lunafet, bring art to this side of the river. Um, you can see like people are here having fun, sitting there, experience the video map. It's so exciting. And yeah, it means a lot to us. And they spread the footprint of Lunafet. We have bigger plans to spread it bigger and better, which I can't talk about now, but we're always looking to grow Lunafet into bigger pots of pockets of the community. And we don't have to hear about them because we're gonna see them at some point. In at that, some point about. you're going to see them. And and just from a resident standpoint, the places you would normally see projection mapping, Disney World, things of that sort, you don't have to go spend a hundred dollars on a ticket and then spend hundreds of dollars to get there and so forth. You just come, just get in your car, drive out here, and enjoy what these people have put on. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. We, we enjoy it. the fact that Lunafet is free and open to the community, and it's a gift to New Orleans, and we hope everyone will come out and enjoy it.